Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to another episode of the Cookie Run Who is More Likely to Game. Now, before I start this video, I just want to state two things that I think are important. So the last time that I played, there apparently were a lot of spelling errors and mistakes, and apparently that kind of was my fault in some sort of sense, because here's the thing. Up here's a little thing for uh, Google Translate, and because I set it to English, it made a lot of the names for some reason just not correct, or like have some sort of an error away. So as you can see, it says macaroon cookie and goblin cookie. If I said to English, it says macaroon cookie, all in lowercase, and goblin cookie with a dash. Apparently it's just, I'll set this to French, because uh, everything is supposed to be perfect like that. However, another thing, I can actually make this look a lot better. I just have to pr simply press, I hope this doesn't affect the recording, F11, and it makes it go full screen. It literally looks so much better than just like seeing the browser stuff at the bottom or like stuff at the top. So. With that being said, I think we can actually continue with making the video in which we first have... Oh no! Everyone ate the rainbow shroomies again. Whose transformation would look better this time? Now personally, I would really think... I, I personally think seeing a macaroon transformation would be very cool, but I really am curious to see how a goblin cookie transformation would look. Like, I can just only imagine, like, the sack would be absurdly large and just goblin cookie is just a teeny tiny little plub. So I'm probably going to go with Goblin Cookie on this one. And man, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, so I might be bad at doing this. Who is more likely to enjoy living in the Dark Cacao Kingdom, Red Pepper Cookie or Princess Cookie? I absolutely think it would be Red Pepper's Cookie. I'm, I'm hoping it would be Red Pepper Cookie because I feel like, I don't know, he's just the more like fighting type. Like I feel like their fury and rage would like burn through their soul and it would actually like push them through the cold, harsh winter in there. I don't know, I just think it would be a lot more fitting, plus Princess Cookie is meant to be fit for the uh, Hollyberry Kingdom, right? Like the prior princess, at least as far as I know, according to story lore, so I'm gonna go Red Pepper Cookie. Who is less likely to hurt another cookie? Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? So, hmm, who is less likely to hurt another cookie? The cookie who's on the side of the Cookies of Darkness is probably one of the first antagonists that you meet in Cookie Run Kingdom, or Herb Cookie who absolutely would not, like, let anyone touch their plants. Now, to be fair, Herb Cookie would only care about plants, and not cookie. Literally, he's grown a giant monster plant, and has only cared for the plant more than the cookie screaming in terror. Though, then again, still Cookie of Darkness over here, so I, I probably still would go with Herb Cookie, but just, just, keep, it, just keep a close eye on his plants. They might be they might just all of a sudden go hay haywire and just destroy everything sweet dreams are made of this who are you to disagree what is is this isn't this the wait 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 isn't this the puffing freaking Marilyn Manson song sweet dreams are made of this who are you to disagree what does this even mean am I supposed to be like am I supposed to find out the answer like who would have like sweet dreams made out of them well, I guess if I'm going with technological speaking here, I guess I'd go with Carol Cookie because people wish for a lot of things on Christmas and like, or I guess in the cookie run sense, cookies, miss. And I, I, she looks the closest to an actual Christmas tree and she has a little star, <coughs> maybe associated with like a shooting star. Let's go with that. Who's less likely to hurt another cookie? Uh... I, honestly, these two, I think Sparkling is just more straightforward. Like, you could probably argue and say, like, oh, the drinks are going to kill you. But, like, he's not intending to hurt you. <coughs> yes. I'm just saying, of course, I say that and I start coughing like a maniac. Uh, but Carrot Cookie would probably hurt you a lot more. Especially if you were to, like, take a step foot onto her farm. So I'm probably going to go with uh, Sparkling Cookie on this. Who's more likely to know about the witches? Starfruit Cookie or Birthday Cake Cookie? Uh, I think Starfruit Cookie would make more sense here. Because, like, hasn't she, like, she seen, like, visions of, like, bad futures? I feel like, you know, you know, I don't know. It was something to do with the uh, battle for fate with, like, you know, pomegranate betraying her and something like that. All the cookies of darkness. And then somehow she and, like, other cookies defeat the cookies of darkness. I feel like she would have visions of the witches more than birthday cake cookie. Because, really, birthday cake cookie just... So the only thing that she cares about is making parties for other cookies. So, I'm probably just going to go with star fruit over here. If given the chance to repeat history, which of these two would pick the less destructive path? Almond cookie or beet cookie? Uh, would you really call Almond's path destructive? Because his path seems more along the side of justice. And then beet cookie is kind of like more of a loner. So really, I don't know on this one, because 
almond cookie, yeah, sure, it seems almond cookies could, like, it could lead to, like, a little bit of a path of destruction, but it's, like, more on the path of, like, justice, you know? And beet cookies kind of just more like, you know, I gotta keep it myself. Maybe if I could change history, or repeat history, I don't know, maybe beet cookie or change your past and, like, stop seeing, like, uh, maybe not be as scared as the wilderness? Not be as scared of the wilderness as she is now? I don't know. I'll, I'll just go with beet cookie. Who's more likely to outlive the other? Banana cookie or white chocolate cookie? I don't know, honestly. These, like, when you really look at the lore of it, you know, white chocolate cookies, you know, super fit, super athletic, uh, fencing all the time, very strong. And banana cookie, super athletic, has, like, done a bunch of circus acts, uh, clubbing. In the past, she was a wildlife explorer, according to uh, one of her stories. Uh, but... I don't know. I feel like just for the fitness of it. But, oh, this one is actually very hard to think about. Mm. I, this is probably difficult. Because I could see both of them like living for a very long time. I, I, th I think I'm just going to go with like real life canonical sense, which I know this seems like a cheat answer, but I think it's also a cheap way out. I'm going to say white chocolate cookie because ban bananas tend to mold faster, I think, than white chocolate. So, I'm going to go with white chocolate just for that sense. But I could be definitely wrong. Either one of these two could be, live for a very long time. Uh, who ate all the snacks in the fridge? Alchemist cookie or dinosaur cookie? Alright, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that dinosaur cookie took all the snacks just to feed it to the little uh, gummy sore right there. The little sweetie right there. I feel like he just took all the snacks just to feed him. Alchemist cookie, I could see her just taking snacks just to test on him. But if we're talking about all the snacks... Yeah, obviously, the small little dinosaurs gotta eat it. Who would be harder to beat if they were a Kicker and Kingdom's boss? Whipped cream cookie or gumball cookie? Honestly, I think up front, gumball cookie would be harder. Only just because he has the straight up has the gumball cannon and can just fire blasts at you. Whipped cream cookie just seems like a lot more of a gentle spirit, like a free flowing spirit. So I personally might have to go with gumball cookie in this one. I know he is a rare in Kingdom, but. And it's just my opinion, you know? Who's more likely to give the other a kiss? Herb Cookie or Hello Kitty? She doesn't have a mouth, Herb. <laughs> Who's up to something malicious? Lemon Cookie or Caramel Arrow Cookie? I think Lemon Cookie is so much more, because, like, I know they seem chill, but, like, in comparison to Caramel Arrow Cookie, Caramel Arrow Cookie has, like, pristine honor to Dark Cacao. If this was, like, Affogato Cookie instead, Absolutely, I would pick Affogato Cookie, but I feel like Lemon Cookie is much more of a loner, but that means, you know, not as much information coming out, you know, I feel like there could be something really cranking up in the back of the brain of his. So I'm going Lemon Cookie. Who deserves a legendary costume? Soda Cookie or Raspberry Mouse, or Raspberry Moose Cookie? I think the concept for a Soda Cookie legendary costume would be awesome. However, technically, none of these, they can't get legendary costumes. The only cookies who can get legendary costumes are legendary cookies themselves. At least an oven break. Maybe that might change in Kingdom, I don't know, but... I guess it would be. It would make more sense for a Raspberry Moose, because, you know, epic cookie in comparison to a rare? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe, if it were to represent a lot more of the uh, House of Raspberry, then maybe. But I would love to see something with a uh, soda cookie. I'll, I'll probably choose Raspberry just in case, though. If these two can time travel, who would travel further? Black Garlic Cookie or Wizard Cookie? Now, this is interesting. Because I could see Black Garlic Cookie traveling back in time to, like, you know, try and relive the, you know, early school life. Maybe talk to uh, past Gar uh, Black Garlic Cookie about, like, you know, what she can become and what she can improve on. And maybe get another chance to talk to uh, White Ghost Cookie uh, when she was still, quote-unquote, alive. But Wizard Cookie, I can imagine, would just take time travel and just crank it like i'm talking like right when like the beginning of the witches we're talking about because i'm pretty sure wizard cookie would be super curious on how everything works would probably want to know the answers to every single thing in the world i feel like it would just make more sense for wizard cookie to try and figure out everything so i'm gonna choose wizard cookie on this who would you kick for a million dollars wildberry cookie or yogurt cream cookie all right so you may think you may think i'm cruel for like picking either one of them but i'm actually gonna pick wildberry cookie and I know what you're thinking, why? Why would I want to kick Wildberry Cookie? What type of wrong has he done? I don't know. I don't know much about his story, but the thing is, I feel like he he wouldn't even get hurt. Literally, if I kick if I would try to kick him in the shins, just 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 look at those like armor platings on his legs. I feel like I would break my foot in doing so. 
So I feel like a million dollars would help me, like, just, you know, heal my foot up. And I don't even think Wildberry would just care. I feel like they'd be more concerned about me going insane. Because with Yogurt Cream Cookie, if I kick him, Lilac's just going to kill me. So I'm, I think Wildberry would probably be uh, the lot more safer option, quote unquote. So let's go with that. Who would be the better antagonist, Gumball Cookie or Mocha Ray Cookie? Probably Gumball Cookie. Like, I know they're not meant to be, like, you know, the nicest cookie in the world, but I feel, like, in comparison to Mocha Ray, because wasn't Mocha Ray Cookie, like, a good cookie in the story of, uh, the Lost City of Sugar Terra? Like, fighting a lobster cookie and, like, protecting the whole city? I'll just go, again, no, go with Gumball Cookie. Cookie Run is releasing its final update. Which of these two will have the spotlight, Affogato Cookie or Pistachio Cookie? I think it would be very interesting to see Affogato Cookie have the last spotlight, but I think Pistachio Cookie, it would be really cool seeing her character develop. I don't know, but that's just me, though. I think they've done enough with Affogato already, just being... The amount of infamy that he's gained is intense. So, I'd like to see something with a pistachio cookie. See how that would work. Who would have a better singing voice? Captain Ice Cookie or Timekeeper uh, Cookie? Probably Timekeeper. Like, I feel like Captain Ice Cookie is too serious to, like, sing and dance and all that stuff. While Timekeeper has a really, like, amazing song. And, like, I know Captain Nice also has a really cool song, but, like... Timekeeper Cookie also had, like, a music video to, like, you know, when she got released. And it didn't have, like, lyrics or anything like that, but it was just, like, an even better enhanced version of her trial theme. So I'm probably gonna go with Timekeeper. <laughs> Who's less likely to hurt another cookie? Blueberry pie or cheesecake? I think, isn't this the third time that we've gotten this question? I don't know. I'm still gonna go cheesecake. Like, see, she could probably be a lot more vicious if you tried stealing something from her, but we're just talking about in general. Blueberry pie cookie could be a lot more stern just, like, trying to be in the library. So, the library. <laughs> but, cheesecake, I'll just go with that. Who has the better lore potential, lemon cookie or dark, dark chocolate cookie? So, neutral expression or neutral expression? I'm probably gonna go with dark chocolate cookie, because, come on. You know the amount of stuff that he's seen? And he's only seen half of it in his life. Get it? Anyway. <laughs> who's less likely to be a fan of Parfait Cookie? Mustard Cookie or Princess Cookie? I don't... Who's less likely? I think Mustard Cookie could be a big fan. I don't know why. I think she would just be the type to just listen to some of her music. Princess Cookie I could also see. But I don't know. It's hard. Hmm. I think I'll go with Princess Cookie, though. I was rare, I was really heavily leaning toward mustard, but I'm thinking mustard would kind of be, uh, yeah, yeah, I would choose mustard, yeah, I would choose mustard because less likely to be. I was thinking princess, but, like, I think mustard cookie would be less likely because I feel like she'd be more into, like, punk or rock or something like that. Well, I mean, isn't Parfait Cookie singing rock? I don't know, maybe more into punk or something. Who is more likely to win in a free, uh, a first-person shooter game, pancake cookie or fig cookie? Uh... Do I just video games or just like an actual like first... Well, probably just FPS game. Uh, Maybe Pancake? Only just because I feel like it would be hard for Fig to sit down and just like pick up a controller or something. I know he... I know Fig has arms. But like, I don't know. I feel like Pancake would just be a little bit more rat on the more radical side. The TBD is looking for new recruits. Who has the better chance to join? Absolutely, Ginger Rave. There is no... There is literally... 0% chance you would ever hire Chili Pepper Cookie. You're basically just you're just hiring a downgraded Twizzly Gummy Cookie, and she is going to steal all of the, like, TBD equipment. Every single one. And it makes more sense for Ginger Rave, because he's teamed up with Croissant Cookie in the past. So they obviously know each other, and literally helped each other out. So I got obviously go with Ginger Rave. Who would get along well with the Ancient Heroes? White Chocolate Cookie or Squid Ink? I think white chocolate cookie just makes more sense. Like, Squid Ink's probably just gonna, like, cry a lot. And she's a lot more of a fighter, so I'll go with white chocolate. Ugh. Who would you hug? Caramel Arrow Cookie or Muscle Cookie? Probably gonna go with Caramel Arrow Cookie. I just feel like, after what she's been through with Affogato, she kinda deserves it. And I, obviously, I would still hug Muscle Cookie if I want to. But I feel like if he hugged me, he would break my back, so I'll just go with the Caramel Arrow. You're going on a trip to Earth, Brett. Who would your travel partner be? <laughs> Cream Puff Cookie or Timekeeper? Now, this is interesting. Would I rather choose, like, a student, so I kind of be, like, on a cookies level, like, on noobish level, where I know she is learning magic, but, like, you know, I'd be on the level, or would I rather time, like, not even just have a traveling partner, but a time traveling partner? 
I gotta go with, I gotta go with time traveling because I feel like the uh, the the the, with the movement speed location just like it would be a lot faster. Though then again, I could just see her pranking me, take, taking me to a different timeline every single different place that we go to, and everything just looks like a puzzle piece stitched together with glue, and all the pieces are somehow wrong. All right, I think we'll do like a few more, and then we'll end. Uh, oh no, everyone ate the rainbow shrooms again. Whose transformation would look better? Orange cookie or pomegranate? I think pomegranates looks like honestly, I think pomegranates uh, rainbow shroom transformation looks really nice as it is. It's just straight up dark enchantress fangirl. And I'm not sure what they could do with orange cookies, so I'll probably just still go with pomegranate. Uh, who's more likely to crash a private party drunk and still have a good time? Absolutely, Skater. Alchemist Cookie would be the type of person to stop the drunk party. That's what Vampire Cookie's for. Who has more fan arts, Hello Kitty or Fire Spirits? Well, for talking in general, Hello Kitty has so much. If we're talking Cookie Run, Fire Spirit would have the upper edge. But if we're just talking in general, Hello Kitty has like an armada of fan arts. All right. This is probably going to be the last one I just answered, only just because uh, we're over 16 minutes, surprisingly. Choose one to protect you, the other one will attempt to assassinate you. Now, you would obviously assume, oh, red pepper cookie, like I said before, join the Dark Cacao Kingdom, they would be strong. I'm choosing spinach, because you don't want to mess with an angry spinach cookie who's just ate an absurd amount of vegetables. She is strong. She is absurd. I guarantee you, she is absurdly strong after eating vegetables. She's like going to be the equivalent of Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. So I'm going to choose that. So I'm going to end it there. So uh, who asked the teacher for more homework? Eggnog cookie or squid? Let's let's make it a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to like uh, make it a little bit of an interesting question to end off on. These were asked to give up the most important thing in this life. With, uh, who would do it in a heartbeat? Uh, probably eggnog is more dignity. All right. <laughs> Well, I mean, aren't both their identities, uh, real good? You know what? Oh, who's more likely to be, you know? Uh, hold on. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna make sure one of these is a very good, uh, good question. Just to, uh, who wouldn't keep a secret? Here we go. This is one. This is just gonna be a question that I ended off on. Who wouldn't keep a secret? Steak fruit cookie or chili pepper cookie? You, you all can answer that in the comment section below. But for now, I gotta end this video right here. If you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share it with your friends for more quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, or you want to hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I also have merchandise if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to. <laughs> I'm, I'm repeating the merchandise thing. It's a fun time down there in the Discord server, and we're trying to expand each and every single day and also you know there's a little twitter link down in the description where if a specific tweet that i sent uh hits uh, it hits 10k likes we can get a free set of the cookie run youtube so let's go ahead and try and hit that you know but above all else i will see you into these and guardians in the next video hail the hype knees.